Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to use our food processor and make some homemade butter. Yes, you can make butter in your food processor. It's really easy to do and it's absolutely delicious. So join me as we make some homemade butter using the food processor. Okay, so the first thing you're probably asking yourself is, why on earth would I want to make my own butter? And I think for me, it's just, it's a really neat thing to do. And you can control what is in the butter. This is not something that I make on a regular basis. It's just something that is fun to do. And if you have guests over, you can either do it in front of them or you can tell them this is homemade butter that I made here in my own kitchen. You can control the ingredients by buying organic or, um, you know, reducing or increasing the salt to your own needs. So even though butter is, you know, readily available everywhere, it is a lot of fun to make it. So let's go ahead and make our butter. So we're going to be using our 16 cup Breville food processor. And if you have a food processor that's smaller than 16 cup, just reduce the amount of cream that you put into it. Um, how we're going to make this butter is it only has two ingredients. We're going to be using heavy whipping cream and we're going to be using a little bit of salt. Now, how much salt you use depends on what you know you want for your butter. If you want unsalted butter because you're going to be using it for baking, certainly don't put any. But if you're going to be using for spreading on some homemade bread, you might want to put a little bit of salt just to taste. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to fit our food processor with the chopping blade. We're just going to put that in there and we're going to close this up. And what's amazing, this is really great to make with kids because what you will find is you're, we're going to put our heavy cream in here and we're going to whip it and it's basically going to turn into whipped cream. But we're going to take it farther than whipped cream and what's going to happen, it's almost like magic. At, at a certain point when it's whipped enough, the butter separates from the liquid, which is basically butter, uncultured buttermilk. And what it does is you will see it suddenly when it's going around, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. And suddenly it's just going to, the butter is just going to appear and it's going to be all liquor, all watery. And we're going to have the butter. You can actually save the liquid part and make some pancakes in the morning, right? It's not exactly like your regular store-bought buttermilk because it's not cultured, but it is true buttermilk, right? So what we're going to do is we have a one quart container of heavy whipping cream and you can get organic whipping cream. This whipping cream is 36% butter fat. And basically what this is, is just the butter is the fat that's in this heavy cream. So the spinning action is going to get that butter out of that cream and it's going to separate, right? So we're going to go ahead, because this is a 16 cup food processor, we can go ahead and pour this whole thing in here. If you have like an 8 cup food processor, you know, you might want to use half of this. But this thing can handle this whole container. We're also going to put in a little bit of salt and you don't want to overdo it because you don't want to over salt it. But I'm going to put in like a pinch. This is a quarter teaspoon, but I'm just putting a little tiny bit in there. Just a pinch for right now and we can salt some more later when we give it a taste. So to make our butter, it's going to be this easy. We're going to turn our food processor on high and we're just going to let it go. And it, you know, it can take anywhere from five to 10 minutes for this to happen. 
So we're just gonna let her rip and when it separates, then we'll be done, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put it on high. And what you're gonna see as this goes along, and we'll take a look at this, is this cream is gonna become whipped cream, basically. And if you were to throw a little bit of sugar in this, you would have whipped cream that you could use on a pie, right? But as we all know when we're making whipped cream, if you take whipped cream too far, you will have butter, right? So when you're making whipped cream, you better be careful to not take it too far. But that's what we wanna do today. We are gonna make butter out of this. So we're just gonna let this run and we're gonna check the consistency when it gets to be about the whipping cream stage and then we're gonna let it run again until the butter separates. So we're already at the stage where we have whipped cream. And wow, if we put this, put a little sugar in this, this would be absolutely fantastic on a pie, right? But since we're trying to make butter, we're gonna keep going with this baby. We're starting to get um, uh, the butter is starting to form. The um, heavy whipping cream is starting to break down. You can see it. Wow, that is amazing. It's really like it's starting to jumble up like it's butter. And soon it's just going to separate and it's going to get really, really liquidy. A lot of liquid in there so let's take a look at it it's starting to look like butter it has separated um, maybe let it go a minute or two more to stiffen it up but it looks pretty amazing it's entirely liquid now wow it just suddenly changed and now it is filled with liquid wow let's take a look at this wow there see how we basically have butter here and we have this liquid this is what it did it separated and this liquid is basically buttermilk and all this is our fresh homemade butter. So let's go ahead and get it out of the food process. So we're pretty much going to pour this out. That's our buttermilk. And we're going to go ahead and get our butter out of here. Eesh. It's a little on the messy side. We're going to clean up our little thing here. We're going to scoop the rest of this luscious butter into our strainer. Wow. I mean, that is just like amazing that that does that. It's just incredible. So what we want to do now is we want to rinse our butter because there's a lot of buttermilk here, but there's still some in here. And especially for me, since I'm allergic to milk. This is basically just butter fat. There's very little milk protein in here and I'm allergic to milk protein. This is where it all is um, in our buttermilk. So what we're going to do is one, we're going to squeeze some of this out and we're basically going to run some water over this to get the rest of it out. And you're probably going to have to rinse this a few times just to make sure you got all that buttermilk out of here. You want a fine mesh strainer. If you don't have one, you can use a, um, some cheesecloth and you can run this in 
through cheesecloth and pretty much squeeze it out. So we're going to put some more water in here. And we're going to get just keep moving this around because there's a lot of pockets in there that have, wow, look at that. It's creamy. It looks delicious. Let me get a little bit more water. And I'm just going to rinse this three or four times to get all that buttermilk out of there. Wow, I mean, this is just amazing. We actually made butter. I love it, right? You never know with your food processor that you can make homemade butter with it. Mm -mm. We're gonna give it a little taste. Mm. It needs some salt. So, it needs some salt. So we're gonna go ahead and put a li little bit more salt in this. Okay, so I just want to take a quick wait on this because we were kind of interested in how much um, the butter weighs from one quart of um, one quarter cream. So basically from, from one quarter cream, we got one pound, one and a half ounces worth of butter out of it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to salt this a little bit. Um, to me, it was a little bland. If you're just using it for, um, you know, for baking, you probably just want to use it unsalted. If you're going to use it for, you know, spreading on bread or anything like that, you're going to want to put some salt in there. Okay, so I have a nice fresh baked chipotle bread, and we're going to go ahead and cut this baby and have a little taste of our homemade butter, right? This is pretty fabulous, homemade bread and homemade butter. Doesn't get any better than that, right? Wow, it's nice and creamy. It spreads really nice. If you want to harden this butter up, you can put it in the refrigerator and harden it up. And I like it just like that. Let's take a taste. Wow, it is absolutely incredible. Mm. It's creamy. It's good with a little extra salt in there. If you're gonna bake with it, you can certainly leave the salt out. But wow, I mean, make some homemade bread with homemade butter. Mm. <laughs> it's out of the world. So yeah. You can make homemade butter in your food processor. Is it something you would do every day? No. But for special occasions, wow. Wow your guests with it, right? It is really, really, really good. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave a comment and a like. And visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook. Oh yeah. I don't really taste the excess salt, so I think she put about the same amount that we're used to. It's creamy, definitely flavorful. The bread helps out too, but let's see what the butter tastes like. Back by itself. Now I taste the salt a little bit, and it's creamy and just. You know, like things that lack fat have like no flavor. This has just enough that it. Oh, that tastes great. I'm not gonna be ashamed. See all that butter? It's gone. Pig. Oh yeah.